welcome back here with Nate's Wait. This is Cross Beats Production. So I want to show you guys a few things with the mid side processing splitting tool that you have in Studio One. And first off, I want to say thank you for all the subscribes. Thanks for the comments. Um, thank you for the likes on the videos and just everything you guys do for the channel because it does it really does help me uh, make more of these videos for you guys. So um, without further ado, let's get straight into this and explain to you how this works. So first off, mid-side processing, if you guys aren't familiar with that, which most of you may or may not be familiar, um, I'll just go through it. So pretty much what it is, it's processing your center channel, so your mono, and then it's also processing the side channel. So usually things in the sides would be uh, reverb and things like that, or things that are in stereo that have been sent to the sides, more or less. Um, so pretty much the the processing technique, um, it's not something new or anything, it's definitely been around for a while, um, but it does help you, especially in mastering and even just in general, help you, um, you know, take away or add to certain things within the mid-channel or the side channels. So I've set up a preset in my Studio One, which I'll show you guys exactly how to do it, and this preset allows me to pretty much activate sidechain processing for EQ and also for the compressors. So the reason why you do this is so you have control over the middle channel for your compression and also for the sides, you know, for the EQ and the compression. Um, and the way that you set it up, basically, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, I'll first off explain to you the whole process. So basic, basic things is you click on your little clock thing down here, it looks like a clock, I guess, um, and click on this little tab here, which looks like a routing thing. It then brings up a window that looks like this, and basically that mix, uh, I guess the splitter, then you can send in a few things here. So first thing you put in here is the mix tool. So basically the mix tool, if I just activate all these actually. Um, so basically you put the mix tool in here first. So basically that would be sitting in the top section here. So that's the first thing that you send into the, the splitter channel. Um, you set up the mid side processing on that first mix tool. So it allows it to then send things to the left, which would be the mids and then things to the right, which would be the sides. So that's the first tool that you put in there. Then you send a splitter in here, so you just drag down the little hand, bring the splitter in, and that will bring the splitter in just like this. You're pretty much just dropping it in just like that. I'll just remove that one away. Um, but that's already what I've done here. Go to this channel split section here, and just check, check make sure that it's from normal to check to channel split. So that allows then the left to be the, the mid and the sides to be the right-hand side. Um, at this point, it's really up to you what plugin you want to put in this, you know, the specific sections, the mid and the sides. Um, on my preset, which you know I can send you guys if you do ask for it on the, on the video in the comments. Um, if you actually, if I can get a hundred likes on this, I'll share this preset with you. Otherwise, you can go, go out and copy what I've done anyway. Um, so the the basic extent I set up a mid side EQ. So that's the first one here that you can see on the side here. This is all the mid channel here. And on this side, it's all the, the side channels. So then I've got my compressor, which is here, set up there. And the side channel, I'll just move that out of the way. This is the side channel, so all of the stuff that's on the sides um, in the EQ. And then all the stuff on the sides on the compressor. Now, there's compressors that can do this, um, this sort of processing, which in the mastering is very um, handy to have. And um, there's certain compressors like the, I'll just show you the Alicia. Actually, if I can just go back up here. Uh, where is it? So this, this compressor here basically can do this type of processing very similar. So it has a mid side processing matrix inside of the actual compressor and it can do the left side is the mid and the right side is the sides. Um, that's a really handy compressor. But if you don't have a compressor and you don't have access to that or you don't want to pay for it, um, this is a fantastic way to actually get what you're after in that sense. Um, I'll just remove it actually. Um, to get this kind of processing without having to go out and spend big money on compressors like that if you don't want to do that. Um, if you have other compressors, again, you know, you could use these type of compressors that don't have activation for mid-side uh, to do this sort of processing. So anything can fill these spaces. Basically, just think of it as blank, blank. Uh, whatever you've got, put it in there and you'll have mid-side processing if that plugin doesn't already have it. So this is like a fantastic way to set up stuff and get sort of processing that you'd want to have happening um, in your project. So if I just chuck on a limiter here, by the way, I've got it on the final channel, so don't don't go off at me because it's on the final channel because that's how I like doing it. Um, some people set up a bus on their actual project to do it. If I had an external compressor, I would probably do that, which I might do on other videos in the future because I'm going, going to get an external bus compressor. Um, but anyway, let me just um, put a limiter on the bus, uh, the, the post channel here. And just turn this up a bit. We'll go up to about 6 dB and set the 
output ceiling actually just set it to minus one and um, I'll just play this track to you and I'll just show you what it sounds like with the processing on and without the processing and give you guys an understanding of how it's working so let's go with it on and then without it Alright, I'm going to go between the two, so just check out the listen and listen to this. So pretty much what you saw there is a lot of width just came into the track and space and I guess the, the track kind of had life of its own. Things sat more in a, a spatial kind of sense. Um, and that's kind of what the benefit of mid-side processing is, you know, like, for example, with this, this side channel here, I've just isolated the sides and I've boosted the sides by about 3.66 dB and I've made that up in, in volume. Um, I've only compressed it a slight amount, by the way. Um, on the actual mid-channel though, I've compressed it by about minus two dB on the master bus, and I haven't made up any input gain. So I've pretty much sent the sides a little bit louder than they were before, creating that width and the space and depth in the track that wasn't there originally. As you heard, it kind of went mono, not so much mono, but it was more, more centered channel um, when I took the plugins off as to oppose to when they were on. So. It's definitely a fantastic feature that you can use inside Studio One that will help you guys get a, a wider stereo, I guess, mix um, without having to use a bunch of reverb for no reason um, in your tracks and things like that. So I hope this got, you know, I hope this helps you out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If I can get to that 100 likes on this video, I'll definitely share this preset with you and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, uh, catch you guys on the next one and peace. Mm -hmm.